Adderall, the infamous drug often used as a study enhancer, is a mixture of amphetamine salts, which makes it a close relative of methamphetamine. Yup, you heard that right. The same drug that can destroy lives in mere months. Scary stuff, right? Since 2007, prescriptions have doubled in the US, and even those who don't have a prescription are using. An estimated 30% of students used Adderall at some point as a study enhancer. So what happens when you take Adderall? Within an hour of ingesting it, it starts to affect the neuroreceptors in your central nervous system. This causes an increase in the effects of serotonin and dopamine, two neurotransmitters that play a crucial role in regulating mood, pleasure, and attention. Adderall is mostly used for individuals with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, also known as ADHD. Studies have shown that these individuals may have dysfunctional dopamine release, leading to distractibility and a lack of focus. Adderall's dopamine and serotonin release helps to overcome this deficit, resulting in increased focus and fewer distractions. But what about those who don't have ADHD? Can Adderall still help them achieve better grades? Well, researchers conducted an experiment on 32 people without ADHD and gave them four cognitive tests. Some were given Adderall, while others were given a placebo, and they were told whether they were taking Adderall or not. In one instance, they were given Adderall and was told it was Adderall. In the second, they were given placebo, but was told it was Adderall. In the third round, they were given Adderall, but was told it was placebo. And finally, they were given a placebo and were indeed told it was a placebo. The two groups that did the best were those who thought they had taken Adderall, regardless of whether they had it or not. In fact, the group that did the worst were those who took Adderall, but was told it was placebo. Although some studies have found that Adderall can improve repetitive learning tasks, it doesn't make a difference when it comes to most cognitive tasks or complex learning techniques needed for an exam. So any increase in studying skills might be from the drug's energy boosting effect, keeping you awake and alert for a long night of studying. Because as we said earlier, it is similar in chemical structure to methamphetamine. Unfortunately, the long-term effects of Adderall abuse are crystal clear. Consistent release of dopamine and serotonin causes the brain to stop producing them naturally over time. This means that you need to take more and more Adderall to get the same effect, making it highly addictive. Long-term users may also develop an inability to feel pleasure without the chemical stimulant, which can linger even after you stop taking Adderall. Adderall abuse is becoming a growing problem, and some have even referred to millennials as the Generation Adderall. Similar to the opiate crisis, we need to put measures in place to protect people from its harmful effects. It's time to start having conversations about how we can use medication responsibly and safely. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. And do let us know your opinion in the comments section.